Hi, welcome to another video in my series on sampling distributions. And in this video, what we're going to be looking at is the sampling distribution for the mode and the median. And I've got an example here, which is fairly typical of the kind of thing that uh, I would expect that you'll get. What we have then is a supermarket sells a large number of packets of bolts. One packet contains 10 bolts and the other 20 bolts. And they are sold in the ratio 1 to 4, respectively. A random sample of three packets, X1, X2 and X3, is taken from the shelves. And what we've got to do in part A is list all the possible samples. And then in part B, we've got to go on to find the sampling distribution for the mode N and the median M. Now to do problems like this, quite often the first question asks you to write down the probability distribution because it's going to be needed further on in the question. Well, in this example, I haven't written that, but I'm going to do that knowing that we're going to need it later on. So we'll start off with a little subtitle here. Let's just say the probability distribution. We'll write it up here. Probability distribution. What's it going to be? Well, we'll just say is. Well, if we take an observed value, say x, then x can be that the packet contains 10 bolts or 20 bolts. So we'll have 10 here and we'll have 20. And then we need to work out the probabilities of picking a packet containing 10 bolts or 20 bolts. So we'll say that's the probability that random variable x equals observed value up here. OK, so for 10, well, we know the bolts are sold in packets in the ratio 1 to 4. So the probability of picking 10 bolts OK, in a packet is going to be 1 out of 5. So that's going to be a probability of 1 fifth. And that leaves us with this one being 4 fifths, so that we get a total of 1. Or you can just read it simply 4 out of 5 parts from there. So there's our probability distribution. Now for part A then, what we've got to do is list all the possible samples. And we're told that we take a sample of three packets. So what could we have? Well, first of all, we could have a sample that consists of 10, 10 and 10 bolts. OK, then if we're systematic with this, we could say that we get a sample with two packets containing 10 and the third packet contains 20 bolts. And remember, we could have this in a different order. We could have, say, 10, then the 20, then the 10. Or we could have, say, the 20 first, then the 10, and then the 10. The other thing we could have is, say, a sample where all three are 20 bolts, packets with 20 bolts in. OK, so that's that one. And then we could have a situation where we have two packets with 20 bolts in and the third packet with 10 bolts in. But don't forget, it can be in another order as well. So you could have 20, then 10 and then 20. Or you could have, say, 10 first of all, then 20 and then 20. And in questions like this, check that you've got all the samples. We can find out how many there's going to be because there's two possibilities for choosing this first packet. It could either be 10 or 20, so there's two there. Two for this one, two for that one. So two times two times two is going to be eight. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different possible samples. OK. Now, if we've got to work out the mode N and the median M, let's just work out those values, first of all, for what we've got. Let's start then with the mode. Now, for the mode, 
of the first sample is going to be 10. The one that occurs most frequently, well, they're all 10, so that's going to be 10 for that one. In this set, 10 is clearly the mode here, and in this one, and in this one. So we've got 10 for the mode for each of those samples. In this one, it's going to be 20. And in this one, or these three, I should say, you can see again, it's going to be 20 there, 20 there, and 20 there. We're also going to be asked about the median. So let's just uh, do a column here for the median. Okay, the median. So what's the median going to be for the first one? Well, if these are all in, already in order of size, so it's going to be that 10 there. When it comes to this one here, they're written in order of size, so the median is 10. If I was to rearrange this one in order of size, and this one is clearly going to be the same as the first sample here, again with a median of 10 then. For this sample, the median is 20. And for this sample here, if we arranged it in order of size, and the same with this one, if we arranged it in order of size, it's going to look like this sample here. So the median would be 20. Okay, so we've got that. Let's just border this off here. Now we're looking for the sampling distributions for the mode N and also for the median M. So we need to work out some probabilities. Let's start with the mode first of all, okay? So we'll just put up here probability. And we'll look at those probabilities. Well, for getting a 10, whether it's the mode or the median, we can see that from this sample, getting a 10 first of all, then another 10, then another 10. Well, this is where we needed this table because getting a 10 had a probability of a fifth. So we've got a fifth multiplied by a fifth, multiplied by a fifth there. So the, the probability then for getting that 10 is going to be one fifth all cubed. Okay, one fifth for the 10, one fifth for that 10, and one fifth for that 10. And one fifth all cubed is one 125th. Now, for getting a 10, whether it be the mode or the median for these samples here, well, for the first sample, you're going to have, for getting a 10, it's going to be one fifth times another one fifth for that 10 times four fifths for getting the 20. One fifth squared times four fifths. But it's going to be exactly the same for each of these ones. Okay, a different order, but still the same probability. So we're going to total that probability three times over. So what we've got here is three multiplied by one fifth squared multiplied by four fifths. And if you work that one out, you'll find you get 12 125ths. Now again, for getting the 20, whether it be the mode or the median, we're looking at the probability of this sample here. And for getting this 20, it's 4 fifths. Another 20 is 4 fifths. And another 20 is 4 fifths. So this one's going to be 4 fifths all cubed. And that totals 64 125ths. And lastly, to get 20 from these samples here for the mode or the median, then we just need to work out the probability of one of these. They're all exactly the same for probability and just times it by three. So for getting a 20, then a 20, then a 10, it's going to be 4 fifths squared followed by 1 fifth. And you've got three of those. So it's three lots of 4 fifths squared and then multiplied by 1 fifth. And if you work that one out, you'll find you get 48 over 125. 
And you can always check to see whether they come to a total of one whole one. Okay, so once we've got these, we can now start to work out in part B our distributions. We can write the distribution, I'll just call it dist for short, distribution of the mode first of all, okay, of the mode N. Well, what's it going to be? Well, N can take on the values, okay, for the mode, we can see that it can be 10 or it can be 20. So we've got two options there. And now we're looking for the probability then that n is equal to that small observed value n. So the probability of getting a 10 for the mode, well, it's going to be the sum of these two probabilities. 101 125th plus 12 125th that's a total of 13 125ths and then forgetting the 20 you could either take this away from one or just simply add these two probabilities together either way it comes to 112 125ths so there's our distribution then for the mode N. And what's it going to be for the median? So distribution of the median M. Well, it's going to be exactly the same thing. And this does tend to happen quite often in these kind of questions because the median M can take on the values 10 and 20 again. And the probability of getting that median, okay, is exactly the same as what we had here. So 13 over 125 and for 20, 112 over 125. So there's your two distributions. So I hope that's given you an idea and that you can use this example then to as a, as a model, if you like, for other examples that uh, should be fairly similar to this.